Hi guys, it's Ives1 here. Welcome back to my channel. I was just thinking what kind of video I should make next for you guys. And then it came to my mind. Why not show you guys what's on my phone, my day-to-day -day apps, my most important apps. Let me just show you guys. This is my iPhone 14 Pro Max. So currently if I slide this, if I slide this down, you can see I'm recording my screen and I'm on do not disturb mode. I have a couple of the focus that I've already set up. I have the focus for work, sleep, and if, uh, when I'm editing, editing videos, something like that, or if I'm studying, like I, when I was coding a lot, I was coding every day. I used that every day for gaming. I stream games as well. And when I'm driving, that turns on automatically. And personal, okay. Let me show you a couple of these wallpaper that I have set up. This one, just regular wallpaper i know a lot of people have set them up they have a lot of widgets they really customize them mine is very simple this is currently my lock screen wallpaper obviously you can customize this i'm not adding any filter it's very these are the pictures i have on this wallpaper they are like shuffling automatically that's my main screen okay that's my initial in this case so i have the regular apps like the generic apps that comes with this iphone my calendar has a lot of stuff there so inside finances these are a couple apps everybody use i use my chase every data it's an app that helps you keep track of your day-to-day -day expenses and you can also use it to pay bills as well but i don't do it for that and bank of america ccu cash app paypal these apps under the business section but i don't really use most of them i got the uber the fiverr ebay Shein is there and the investment i got crypto.com kucoin uh trust wallet i got coinbase i got bitmart that's google authenticator i have metamask and navigations you guys know google map maps ways i also have translator there and i translate these i use these every day i translate in duolingo so i'm currently learning spanish i use duolingo every day to learn some spanish there music i don't really use apple music and itunes i only use spotify every day before i go to bed i play my christian music when i go to bed and inside photo and video apps i got a lot of apps there as you guys can see a lot so the ones i used right now is my Lightroom app iMovie I don't use that anymore since I bought the MacBook I don't edit videos on my phone anymore YouTube Studio yes I use that InShot um not really anymore but I have the Pro version that's what I use to edit my videos so what is ZY Play this is for my gimbal those I don't use them anymore at all this is a background remover app the one that Scott you wasted dgi fly that's for my drone caption you can add caption to videos such as a tiktok videos like a vertical video imaging edge that's for sony but these from their maker i have a bunch of apps that i haven't even used for a long time tiktok pro i think these apps help you remove the watermark i call this social networking these apps i kind of use them every day you know messenger twitter linkedin this is facebook business suite and regular facebook instagram tiktok whatsapp youtube hurdles hurdles i don't even use that really i barely use these reports that's another good app gives you a report of your instagram account so you can see people who unfollow follows you stuff like that home security i have a couple cameras at home that's where i can check them and get notifications games these are the games i have guys among us four blocks these are the mostly the ones i use the other ones i barely touch them some of them my kids use playstation app playstation remote play cloud gaming twitch i don't even use twitch hit the island i'm not sure if you guys ever use this game if not let me just show you how it works so this this is an awesome game guys so it hit the island when while you guys playing very good game this is the weather one where i can see news i can choose weather that's the widgets i can see some of the apps clock maps 
photos the photos would like be shuffling here photo content actually turned off podcast are barely used find my iphone barely used contacts files barely used watch sometimes utilities you have these utility apps voice memos compass measures calculators regular ones these are the generic ones that come with the phone apple store keynote these are generic as well numbers dropbox yeah i used it sometimes pilot this is when i bought my drone i was studying to have the license to allow me to fly my drone over an airport you need license i forgot the name but you need the license apple tv lawfully jet blue i think google gboard you can study i believe bus google one that you can use it as storage as well xfinity ones clubhouse smart things you can use this as a remote controller for a tv it can actually be used to control a tv rca this is a an antenna i have that helps me watch local channels i don't really have cables i cut that so i use this to watch local channels and i have another i have a fire stick to help me watch like other channels i have the fitness app rapture that's a very good one i don't really use it i don't have that membership anymore ymca south, south florida chick-fil-a i only used that once when i was ordering chick-fil-a for my kids i don't know why i add these on the business but these that will help you look for jobs or hire people F health and fitness these are some of my health insurance and planet fitness as well this app actually helps you you can scan a barcode if you go to a grocery it helps you see what's on the what the ingredients the label it gives you a score it tells you if th this particular ingredient is dangerous this app is called yuka very very good app i use that even for skincare products you can scan them and it tells you what the ingredients are and whether or not they are dangerous and how dangerous they are lifestyle this you can use to make 3ds of a home united app i think i've shown you guys all the apps i have this is currently everything i have on my phone and maybe i can make another video one day and i'll show you everything i have on my macbook pro which was recently bought as well less than six months ago so i thank you guys if this video was helpful always leave a thumbs up and let me know how it helps you guys and you can ask me questions in the comment sections i will answer them and thank you for watching peace